I know shower accessories are often an afterthought in shower remodeling. They're kind of like the Rodney Dangerfield of shower remodeling or something that people don't think about until the end and then they're forced buying a cheap plastic shower caddy at a local um, dollar store, which is not a great idea. But in this video, we're gonna look at different shower accessories that you can use so you don't have that problem and find out it's too late to get the right accessories for your project. The storage in general, a lot of times people will think I'll just put a shower caddy on the shower head or the neck, but you're spending all this money to redo a shower why not get the storage a lot of times with these niches in the wall you don't lose any space you're really utilizing the space that you have and it also just looks better you always want to um, think about the height of the people that are going to be using the shower because you might have someone that's a little shorter someone that's a little taller so you want to make sure that you get the placement of the accessories in the right place so that both can utilize them. One thing uh, which is good is the oversized niche, which is vertical, and it has a couple of shelves, so one person that's a little shorter could use the lower one, and uh, someone that's taller can use um, the higher shelf. not putting blocking behind for the future use of security bars. A lot of times if people are doing their remodel, you know, they're in their 30s, 40s, even 50s, they don't need security bars yet, but as they get older, they're gonna want them. And if you don't have that blocking behind, you are kind of limited to where you can put your security bars. Some of the common mistakes that I see is people not thinking about making sure that everything matches. So when it comes to uh, the shower drain cover, something just chrome is functional, it works fine, but it may not match with all of the other accessories that you have in the shower or in the bath. So when it comes to your trim on your shower doors or your faucet, things like that, you wanna try and make sure that everything matches. Another accessory that people will sometimes overthink are the fixtures or the shower heads. A lot of times people will say, hey, we'll just go with whatever the standard, you know, handle and shower head neck is and we can always put on one later. What they don't sometimes think about is perhaps they need a handheld with a bar that you can adjust the height if it's a handicap accessible shower. That's not something that you can just easily add on later. Sometimes they'll want to do a rain shower head which is fine but then you do have to replace the neck which means you got to get into the wall and you do have to you know adjust the plumbing there. So just kind of thinking ahead on the shower experience that they want. That shower head, yes, you can get one at the store, but sometimes you're limited to the few options that are available. With the shower accessories, there is a uh, window in the shower. Sometimes they think they need to cover that window up and block it, and then you don't have the natural light. But a good alternative is um, you can use a glass block window, you can use an acrylic window, and if you need to frame it out, you can use some solid surface material to help with that, and it makes a real nice look in the shower. Some of the biggest mistakes people make when they're planning their project, people will want to put a big shower bench in the back, which is nice if you're gonna use it. A lot of times people don't use it, end up just using it for storage, which sitting your bottles on that is fine, but you're losing a lot of leg room. So they could instead do a niche, even an oversized niche, if they wanted to reframe the studs in the walls and have plenty of storage without having a big bench all the way across the back of the, or the side of the shower. I hope this video has provided you with concrete answers for to find the right products in bathroom and shower accessories and make a safer bathroom, one where you can actually store all the shampoos and the conditioners and things that you have. However, if you do want to learn more, I'd recommend going to the contemporary shower accessory page of our website. There's a guide there about contemporary bathrooms where you'll learn not only about shower accessories, but about 
shower pans, and wall panels. Or you can click in the link below or give us a call at 877-668-5888. One of our team would be really excited to help you. Thanks so much.